Hey everybody, and we're we're actually back. Like finally, it's been a little stretch here. We are back at the uh, unscripted desk here, and we are back actually for our fiftieth episode. Can you believe it? Fifty episodes. It's hard to believe that we've recorded fifty of these. That's about twenty five hours worth of time talking, spent talking about faith, life, and leadership. 50 episodes of helping people think more deeply and think more critically about those topics. And honestly, I just have to say, I am so stinking proud of that fact. I'm so excited about it. We've had some incredible interviews along the way and and talked about some really, some really gutsy topics. Uh, But along the way, I've also been able to hone in on what it is that we're talking about. Uh, Unscripted has been purposely vague, right? Like it's kind of a vague title. It gave us tons of freedom to talk about basically anything. And we talked about basically everything and basically anything. We did that all the time. But here's the interesting thing for me. Along the way, we naturally found our voice. I found myself asking curious questions wanting to hear about people's lives and perspectives about their hobbies, about their vocations, their jobs, their, their hard decisions, their best seasons, and, and their scariest seasons. But then, that's when I found myself falling into a particular set of questions. It was so natural. I almost didn't even realize it was happening. Uh, th- that is until the past couple of weeks or so when we as a church uh, made the announcement that we're updating our mission statement. Ripper Community Church is updating its mission statement to, to say that our mission is now to represent Jesus well. It'll be official in, in January, but I'm super excited about this mission to represent Jesus well. And I realized I've been turning that phrase over and over and over in my head for like well over a year now because... Well, it started with my family. We did it as a family together. Uh, then that phrase became our focus for the year 2022. And, and since then, people have owned it in so many ways that, that we're excited to make that our mission as a church to represent Jesus well going forward. I've heard and I've seen it play out in these really powerful ways in people's lives. It's such a simple motivation check for people. I've also seen it, uh, it's theological depth from the fact that we're called Christians uh, and when we're called Christians, we're acting as representatives or ambassadors for Jesus uh, to the fact that we imitate Jesus, that's what we're called to do, or even as humans, we're made in the image of God and to be the image of God in the world is summed up really beautifully by the statement to represent Jesus well. And as I've turned that phrase over and over and over again in my head, it's It's also caused me to realize that the question I've always wanted to get to and and the one I'm so curious about in interviews is that it's, it's how do people with different jobs who have endured different seasons and life experiences, experiences, whether, whether they're good or whether they're not, how do people represent Jesus well in unique and creative ways in and with their lives? How do they do it? I love asking those questions because they inspire me. And I bet, I bet they inspire you too. Like I bet you've heard those answers and thought I can do that in my life in its own unique way, which is why I'm so excited to announce that starting now, like in this moment right now, starting now, this will be the podcast formerly known as unscripted. In other words, it's going to be known as represent Jesus. Well, an RCC podcast. And that's where we'll uncover ways people endure and live and lead that represent Jesus well. Uh, It'll be a podcast that brings you into people's real and gritty lives and then explores that question. What does it look like for you to represent Jesus well there in, in that circumstance, in that situation? I'll be bringing you stories from people who call RCC their home church, along with people who are outside of RCC, but, but who bring a really unique perspective to the question. I'm not sure who we're going to get all together, but I've got some great people I'm excited to ask and excited to, to reach out to, and I can't wait to, to see who ends up being on the podcast. But, but here's what I'm excited about. I'm excited to be inspired. I'm excited to learn something new and apply different people's perspectives in creative ways. I'm excited to see unique ways and unique circumstances that God works in and through people's lives. 
I hope you're coming along for the ride. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. I hope you continue to listen in to this podcast and, and be excited about it. Share it with your friends. Uh, be inspired by it in the way you live and act every day. And that it would be a, a source of encouragement for you to endure and to live and to lead in a way that represents Jesus well yourself. Uh, the first episode, in addition to this one, this is the first one I've ever done without like, you know, a guest. So this is fun. But the first episode with a guest that what we called Represent Jesus Well in RCC podcast drops next week. I can't wait for you to hear it. And it's going to be a good one. And we will see you there. Thank you.